Hello and welcome to SprueCam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial I'm going to be creating some simple line drawings using the 2, 2D geometry function of SprueCam and I'm going to use those lines to machine a part. So we want to make sure we're in the 2G, 2D geometry page and we want all our snap to icon selected, especially the snap to a grid. I like to use the snap to the grid because then you can tell exactly how far apart you are on the um, intersections of the grid squares. So we're going to select line definition and we're going to make a star um, about two inches wide. So we're going to go right now, if we were going to do these, these, each one of these blocks are a hundred thousandths wide. So we're going to go to negative one inch X all the way over to positive one inch X. And we have our first line. And I don't know how fancy of a star we're going to make, but let's, let's do a line from this point down to that point. And we will do the same thing from this point to this point. And we will go up to our point here. Oh, this is going to be kind of a goofy looking star. So <laughs> let us um, undo those last couple of lines. And I think we can go a little farther. We will go from this point. That looks pretty good from there. And from this point to there. Now we can go up to our top point. And down back to the bottom point. Well that was that looks like a pretty good star. Now we're gonna eliminate these interior lines because we're going to want to pocket this star out. So let's go up to the clip button. We'll hit clip. All you have to do is wait for the line to highlight yellow. And it will clip the sections in between um, intersections. Alright. Now, it gets a little hard to machine a... Uh, a sharp corner like that you'd have to use an awful little cutter and it, you would still end up with a little bit of a radius so we're going to add some fillets to each one of these corners so to do that we're going to go up to this button which is going to be rounding with trimming now if you right click on there there's chamfer with trimming or rounding with trimming or chamfer and rounding without trimming we're going to keep the trimming in there so we'll click on that and we're going to select our radius and we're going to put a 0.125 radius and click enter. Now we get this funny little circle that comes around with us. And we will select this line and this line. Oh, what happened to our radius? Somehow that left. All right, we will select this line and this line. There, it gives a nice radius. Those two lines. There we go. And right there. Okay, so that'll be a little easier to machine around the outside. But now we have our star that we want to use. And let's put a circle right in the center of this star. So we can go up and use the circle button. Find our center dot and extend it straight out and that looks pretty good all right so now we have our arbitrary line drawing that we're going to machine so 
So now we all go to the machine tab. So if we're going to pocket this effectively, we should put a box all the way around this part. Let's go back into 2G Geometry. We will select the top view so we can get the nice grid. And we are going to create a box all the way around this part. So we're going to start there and go to here. Alright, now we got a box all the way around the part. And let's join this box all together. So we're going to go up to this chain button, click, click the chain, and we're going to join this whole element. Alright, now we have one single path. So we'll go back to the machine tab. And we're not going to 2D contour this, we're going to delete that. We are going to pocket this out. We're going to pocket this. We are going to choose our base surface. It is right there. And that looks good. We're going to add a pocket. We're going to make sure our edge selection tool is on. I'm going to select that, add that. Now we're going to go around and select all of the star faces. If we could, if we thought about it, we could have joined them all together, and then we would have just had one um, nice star. But we can also select them like this by holding down the control button. And we will add that. Let's look at it from the top. And now we're going to click the circle and add that. Close. All right, so there's a bit of a block here that we can use. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pocket around the star and then leave the star standing and then pocket the circle in the middle of the star. So let's do that. And we're going to do this all with a quarter inch end mill. So let's double click pocketing, put our library selection to inch toolkit, apply that, find our quarter inch center cutting end mill. All right, feeds and speeds, where we're not going to worry about right now. We're going to lead in, lead out at a safe level of 50 thousandths. All right, and our parameters are going to be, we're going to cut it quarter inch deep. The bottom level is going to be negative quarter inch. We're going to do this in one pass. Our relief angle is zero. We're not going to leave any stock. Our top level is zero, and our safe plane is half an inch. Our strategy is going to be not to use a trochoid step, and we could do both climb milling and conventional milling. I will click OK and click Run. All right, what did we end up with? Oh, it doesn't look like we have anything because we do not have a material. So let's go to extrude and we're going to extrude this curve. That's our block. Now we extruded that pretty far up there. We're going to double click that. We're going to make our minimum 0.35 at our maximum 0 0.0. So click OK. Oh, negative 0.35. Sorry about that. OK. All right. Now we have some material to work with. We click Run. All right. So you can see it's generated a whole 
it's like it wants to pocket out everything. Well, we don't necessarily want it to pocket out everything. So we're going to go back to job assignment and we are going to click inversion area. Now, let's click run. And you can see if we just make that an inversion area and these both are pockets. Now it's going to pocket out the circle. It's going to pocket out all the way around the star, but it's going to leave the star as an island. So we will go to simulation and regenerate that and click play. Let's speed it up a little bit. See, right now it's doing everything in one big file swoop. We can change those parameters later if we want. But let's say we're doing this in plastic. Now it's doing the center of the circle. And pocket all the way around that. And all we will be left with then is the star and the circle. If we wanted to eliminate these little sections here, we could use a little smaller or a cutter, or we could extend the workpiece. But either way, that looks pretty good. So this has been how to use 2D geometry to create some tool paths for Spook Camp. And I hope you enjoyed it.